Yeah. Okay, you have to go away. Huh? Measuring her. Have you ever done a canvas? Have you ever made a canvas? Uh, yeah. I think that's what he was saying. I don't know which ones though. You have to ask mom. Ew. Cotton canvas. Gonna cut canvas for school. Hey guys, it's me. Welcome back to my channel. Um, this is me last year of 2022 making a bunch of canvas studies for my painting class at OCAD. That was my second year at OCAD? Maybe third? I don't even know at this point. It's been a lot of years. Yep. So yeah, I'm basically doing a bunch of canvas making. I made this massive canvas in my workshop at school and then I stretched it at home and then I painted gesso all over it. Here we go, painting gesso, really fun. It actually took a long time, this kind of sucked. I was not expecting it to go so annoying. Okay, let's begin. I start by just gessoing it and then I throw sand and dirt all over it to make some texture. Ta-da! The coffee idea came because my mom was sitting there drinking coffee. As you can see, she's videoing me, my number one supporter. Yeah, and I grab her coffee and I poured it on here. She was okay with it. Okay guys, it's about to get intense in here, as you can tell by the music. So I handed this painting in, I got a pretty good mark, and then I decided to take a semester off of OCAD, but now this semester, 2023, I'm back. Okay, welcome to my Monday. I wake up at 6 a.m. and then my sister drives me to the train. I get on the train by 6.30 a.m. and usually I do some editing, and then I arrive at 8.15 if the train's not late, which it usually is. I walk through the subway system place and then I get to the subway where I have three stops before mine. After three stops, I get off at St. Patrick's Station and then I walk to my class. 
takes like about five minutes to get there. I grab a matcha in the morning and then I head to my class at 8.30. Usually I'm like five minutes late. Currently sitting in OCAD. I have my backpack here. It's really heavy, so I bought a locker today so that I can put my backpack in and I don't have to carry my massive laptop around for the rest of the whole day. I'm currently in OCAD in the main building on the fourth floor where my new locker is. I wish I was in a painting class, but I am not and all these people are in painting. This is the iconic yellow staircase. Actually, I think this is after they painted over it, but they painted over it because they thought it was too profane, but then students just made it even more profane, so there was really no point. So I didn't end up filming the rest of my day, but basically I went to my last class from 6.30 till 8 and then I got on the train at 8.30 and I got home around like 11. Then I went to sleep. I woke up the next day. I had a day off, so I decided to clean my room. I usually do that on Tuesday, my day off. I just spent this day cleaning the mess that I've created for the entire week. Um, yeah, and then I listened to podcasts. It's a nice, chill day. So I'm on my way to my 3 o'clock tutorial. It is once a week on Wednesday. It's only an hour long and I basically have to come all the way to Toronto for two hours on the train and then go to one single class. Now before I always go to the Grange Food Corps, I usually get sushi. Sometimes I get bubble tea, but apparently today I did not. I have spent so many hours in this food court just chilling before classes and also I used to live here in Toronto and I would come here to eat all the time. Now I'm on my way to the art store to get some purple paint because I tried mixing it at home and it went terribly so I ended up having to go buy some. So here we go to the art store. I keep wanting one of these cutting mats and I have not brought myself to buy one yet. But I got a new palette, I got some brush cleaner, I bought some paint brushes. Every time I enter the art store, I end up spending so much money. Anyway, it's like 2.50 so I have to go to my tutorial now. I've been writing for so long, but then I took a break and I gotta get back to writing. But also I'm thinking, do I wanna write or do I wanna paint? And the answer obviously is I wanna paint, but like, I gotta write, but it's not always that I'm inspired to paint. So it's tricky, you see? How do I interpret the meaning of painting today? What makes it a distinct medium of artistic expression? Blah, blah, blah. Literally doing a rough draft and it's so bad right now. I bought this, um, what is it? It's a, it's a planner. I bought a planner so I could keep track of what's actually due and what's not due. I'm writing things down so I don't forget them or miss them because that's pretty much always what I do. So this week I have to finish my 500 word position statement. I just handed in my positionality statement for my GART class, General Arts, Social Change and Technology. So far I've handed in two written response. I handed in my positionality paper. I need to hand in my position paper for painting. I have to do a presentation about my positionality statement and then I'm going to work with somebody else in the class and we're going to combine it and somehow do a group. Oh yeah, and then I have an essay coming up on the 23rd. It's the 28th today, so that's a long time actually. I have a while to work on that essay. I have a problem and it's that the ceiling is too short. This thing touches the ceiling and I have to like, I either have to bend down like this or put it down low and then sit. And I don't want to sit. I'm just going to go for it. I have a really tiny canvas. 
because the canvas I wanted to use is actually being used by my plant. Can you see that? It's like it's so intact. My room's a mess. It's not ideal. Look at that. I always start my painting with burnt sienna. This is the picture that I'm doing. Aw, I'm always so freaking scared to start a painting. Like, I hesitate for so long and then all I have to do is do it. Let's do it. It's not even scary, even though it kind of is, but it's fine. Okay, let's do his hat up there. This is his face. Here. Wow, this is gonna be freaking difficult. It's already hard. I always forget. I'm like literally scared to start a painting. I'm like, what if it doesn't look right? But honestly, why does it matter? Why does it matter? I'm, it's gonna look fine. And even if it doesn't, who cares? I can always paint another painting. I feel like that's like a big problem the artists experience is just being afraid to start. Um, I've been at OCAD and they've been telling me like, create, don't be afraid, freaking do it. And I agree. Okay, it's gonna be like that. He's got massive lips. So they're gonna go here and he's smirking. <laughs> this looks hilarious right now. But I gotta remember, don't be afraid. Just do it. Ow. So I ended up filming an entire video on this painting. I'm just showing you a speed run in this video because I don't want to spoil the whole thing. I basically go into my painting process from start to finish and just talk about like what I do. So if you want to see that video, make sure to comment so I know and then I'll actually get around to posting it. I just sat on, on it. I literally just sat on my thing. What a waste of paint. I started painting at 8 and it is now like 1, 1, 1, 1 a.m. or something. And I work at 10 in the morning, which is um, not bad. So I'm going to go to bed. I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow and I'm going to finish it. Okay, um, I have to leave the house in like 10 minutes because I work at 10.30 and it's 10.11. So uh, I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, uh, toast. <laughs> That's probably the most amazing in the world. I just said, run, and here he came. Hi, I got a new carpet, it's right there. Do you wanna see it? Do you wanna see what it looks like? No, he wants to go into the closet. Okay, this is attempt number two of getting a carpet. I don't know if I'm gonna love the texture because it's like fuzzy. But last time I got a carpet, it was too bright. It was too yellow and I wanted like burnt orange, so. Wanna see what this is? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I kinda like it. Okay.
Okay, it definitely goes a lot more, but there's, yeah, no padding. The other one had padding. Okay. Yeah, this is a lot bigger than the other one. And definitely with this color is, where's the camera? This color is so much better. You know, I'm actually obsessed. This carpet is perfect. It's what I was wanting. Yes. Soon may the weatherman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the dining is done, we'll take our leave and go. Ooh. She had not been two weeks from shore and down on her right. Oh my gosh, look, the colors, they're popping. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. I'm about to turn on this book that I'm gonna have to write um, like a short thingy on. It's called Binky. These three enormous rooms Binky. I'll show you the picture. Yeah, I have to write like a short essay. Uh, not a short essay, I literally just have to write 200, 300 words, which is not bad at all for my English class. Yeah. No, no, there was like some Marvel shows that came out. No. Like, you know, Jessica Jones? No. Well, they're like these Netflix Marvel shows. They're like full caliber superheroes. But there's one of those that's really good. I forget which one it is. Oh, wow. Okay, Once something. again, if you want to see the whole art video, then subscribe and I'll be posting it soon. A whole video about my painting process and how I painted Justin. So yeah, thanks for watching. That was my first two months at OCAD of the 2023 semester. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.